Here we have an Xbox Series X that came in for no signal. Customer said the console does power on, but he's not seeing a signal on the screen. And the problem does not appear to be an HDMI connector issue. I went over this quickly with the naked eye, and yeah, I do not see a problem with the HDMI connector. Let's take a look together. Look at the pins on the inside. Absolutely mint, perfect condition. And all the pins are solid. All of them are making a good connection. And if we take a look at the connector where you plug the HDMI cable, how does it look? It looks good also. We do not see any damaged pins or pins crossing or pins touching or whatever the case may be. The connector looks good. So if the problem is not the HDMI connector, what else can cause a no signal? That's a very good question. A lot of things can cause a no signal. But for now, I think we're going to take a look at the MB7N chip. I've worked on this issue before. And very likely the problem is the MB7N chip. Let's go ahead and remove it. And we're going to grab that chip from a donor board that we have. And hopefully we can fix the problem for the customer. The board looks absolutely perfect. No signs of tampering or prior repair attempt or anything. It looks in excellent condition. So when I see a board like that, the first thing I do is I go for the MB7N chip. If that does not solve the problem, then we have to look elsewhere and try to figure out why we have no signal on the screen. Right now, I do not see a reason to replace the HDMI connector, but we may have to. We may have to take a chance and replace it if replacing the chip does not fix the problem. Right now we have a plastic connector right here, so we have to be careful. We do not want to burn it. And I'm pointing away from the HDMI connector and not towards the HDMI connector. The board must get saturated with heat and the board itself must reach the melting temperature of unleaded solder for us to be able to lift that chip off the board. The chip is out. We're going to prep the pads and then remove the chip off the donor board and put it directly here. So I take solder from the middle and I spread them on the sides. And now we know that every single pin has enough solder on it. We do not need that much solder in the middle so we can wake off some of the axis. If we do not wake off the axis, then it's no problem. When we solder the chip, solder will squeeze out from under the chip. Will that cause bridging when solder squeezes out? No, of course not. That's what flux is for. Because a lot of people wonder, when you solder that chip, what if you had bridges under the chip? No, you're not going to have any bridges. That's what flux is for. If you are soldering without flux, then yes, you're going to get bridges. Let's put this board on the side. and grab the donor board labeled by an X. Oh, look at this donor board. <laughs> what a mess. Pin number one is right here. It looks like the original chip, even though we have a lot of flux here, 
but I do not see this as a chip that was replaced. The chip is aligned nicely and it's not coming off easy. We have those chips on order and we should have them by probably next week or the week after. They will be posted on our website if you want to purchase. You can buy all your tools from our site. Soldering station, hot air station, thermal camera, a lot of ICs, different ICs that we use for repairs, tweezers, plugs, solder braid, whatever you need. Everything that we use here is sold on our site. We stock all the items and orders almost always ship out same day. We're constantly increasing our inventory. And just a minute. Right, the chip is out we're gonna go back to the customer's board and solder it on right there Try to escape to the ninth dimension, but it's too fat to fit through the door, the ninth dimension door. I got it. Right now we're gonna press and hold while applying hot air. Just like that. And we're done. And we're good. Let's get rid of the glare. All right, then if we zoom in and check, no two pins are bridging. Excellent. All right, and we're done. I'm gonna hand over the motherboard to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video.
currently working on an Asus laptop and MSI laptop and we have one more here that we need to work on. Yes, yes, it's working. It's working. Thank you. Thank you, big boss. And let's go ahead and work on the other motherboards that I have on my bench. And I'll see you in the next video.